Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on our foundation level sample paper discussions. We are in set C of our foundation level sample papers and talking about the chapter four. Chapter four being about the test techniques, we have covered several questions so far uh, and we are now talking about some of the remaining topics and remaining questions of this chapter. As, as a part of this tutorial, we'll be covering another two questions. Let's have a look on the first one here, which is question number 25. You are testing an unattended gasoline pump that only accepts credit card. Now, unattended gasoline pump means that there's no stuff there. You can do it yourself, like self-operatable. Once the credit card is validated, the pump nozzle placed into the tank and the desired grade selected, the customer enters the desired amount of fuel in gallons using the keypad. The keypad only allows the entry of digits. Fuel is sold in the tenths, that is 0.1 of the gallon, that is minimum order which can be placed up to maximum of 50 gallons. Now that's your range which they wanted to provide you. Which of the following is a minimum set of desired amount that covers the equivalence partition for this input? And the options here. Now, the very first thing, uh, you have to identify which technique are they asking you to use. And based on that, you have to pick the desired information from the scenario. Now, here, there are two important things which you need to take into account. Before, you know, of course, the first thing is to identify the technique which you are supposed to apply here. And then as per the technique which we have identified as equivalence partition, now it's time for us to understand that what are the information required. So number one thing is the range, right, which you're looking forward to. And second is what is the cushion on the technique. So the range given to you is 0.1 gallon is the minimum. That means somebody just can't type in 0, 0.0 and fill the fuel because 0, 0.0 is nothing. So it will not dispense any fuel uh, to the car, right? So 0.1 is the minimum. Less than that is not accepted. And 50 gallons at a time is the maximum. That means somebody placing 50.1 will not be accepted, right? So that's my range here. And the question which they are asking is, what is the minimum set of desired amount that covers the equivalence partition, right? So what are the number of values required or which set of these options will give you the complete coverage of all the partitions. So let's look at the table here, which will be helpful for us to come to the conclusion. And the table here says the very first range is less than or equal to 0, 0.0, right? Anything 0, 0.0 or less than that, that means negative values as it is an integer uh, or digits is not accepted. Whereas 0 0.1 to 50 is a valid range and these values are accepted, anything between that. And on the third range, that is 50.1 or greater than that is non-accepted again, right? So we got the ranges here. Now let's put all our options one after the other in this and see which option covers all three ranges. That's the question. Right? So if we pick up option A, it says 0.0, 20.0, and 60.0. Yep, that absolutely covers all the three ranges and seems like you got your answer, but let's confirm with the other option. Sometimes can be tricky as well. B says 0.0, .0. yes, that covers the first range. 0 0.1 covers the second range and 50.0 covers the second range as well. So there's no value from the third range in the option B. C minus 0, 0.0, I think, sorry, not minus, it's 0, 0.0, 0, 0.1. So 0, 0.0 covers the first range, 0. 0.1 covers the second range, 50.0 covers the second range, and 70.0 covers the third range. As, it looks correct, right? But no, as per the EP, what we have learned in the techniques, there should be only one value from each partition trying to minimize your test cases. So why we are taking two values from the second partition, right? 0.1 and 50.0 is two values from the same range. And that's contradicting with our technique. So C is also wrong. That's where people will get conflicted D. Coming to D minus 0.1, which is not a value. Oh, okay, covering the first range. 0 0.0 is again first range. 49.9 is the second range, 50.0 is the second range, and 50.1 is the third range. So that means in the first and second range, we are taking two two values 
but still covering all three partitions, which is not correct. So putting it up all together, the right answer here is A, 0.0, 20.0, and 60.0 is the right set of minimum inputs, which will cover all the partitions. And I hope that pretty much makes sense to all of you. Let's jump into the next question, which is quite similar, but uh, in a different scenario and different technique. Question number 26, you are testing an e-commerce system that sells cooking supplies such as spices, floors, and other items in bulk. The units in which the items are sold are either grams for you know expensive items like uh, spices, spices or other expensive items, or kilograms for the floor and other inexpensive items. Regardless of the units, the smallest valid order amount is 0.5 unit, which goes to like half a gram of cardamom pods, uh, cardamom pods, and the largest valid order amount is 25.0 units, that is 25 kilograms of sugar. The precision of the unit field is 0.1 units. That means minimum is 0.5 here, but you can increase the value from there like 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, and so on, till 25.0. That means 24.9 is also a possible value. So the increment between 0 0.5 to 25 kilos is 0 0.1 is what they mentioned. So not to be confused, just to understand, all right? Now let's come to the question, which of the following is set of input values that covered the boundary values with two point boundary values for this field? Again. We got the clarity on the question. Let's pick up the three information which you need. Number one, the technique which they are asking you to apply is boundary value analysis. And in boundary value analysis, you have covered two types of it. That is two point analysis and three point analysis. So they clearly mentioned it is two point analysis. So you're done from the first information. Second, have you got the ranges clearly? Yes, we got the ranges are between 0.5 to 25.0 is a valid range. Anything less than 0.5 is not valid. Anything more than 25 is not valid, right? And the third thing is what is the question? So they're asking you all or set of input values that covers the boundary values, right? Set of. Now here they did not say valid boundary values or invalid boundary values. So you'll pick all the four boundary values, which are as per two point analysis. Tada, you got all the information. Let's look at the table now, which will minimize our effort on getting the right answer. So you should also draw your table quickly to get to the right conclusion. So here, this is the table. Number one, we have 0.4 uh, or less than that is my first range, which is an acceptable unit. 0.5 to 25.0 is my valid input or valid range and 25.1 or greater is my invalid range on the third side, right? So the boundary values are closer to the boundaries, like left boundary, left boundary minus one, right boundary, right boundary plus one. So all the values which are mentioned on the top are your boundary values as per two point analysis. So as I've told you that the values which are mentioned in the table is your hint to the right answer. I won't want to discuss any of the options, the straightforward, the right answer here is C, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 25.0, and 25.1 is the right set of boundary values as per two-point analysis. If the same was asked on three-point, you would take three values on each boundary, right? So I hope that's clear to all of you. That's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.